Back in 1959, George Schaller conducted a groundbreaking study of mountain gorillas. He looked at every aspect of their lives, from how they behave to what they need to thrive. The techniques that George developed to observe animals are the foundation for all gorilla research today. Find which way they gone this morning. Trackers in Rwanda's Volcano National Park still follow his method. He observed that adult gorillas build a new nest of leaves and branches every night. Yeah. What do you think? It's still not cold, so 9.45, they're not far ahead. Discover a nest, and the gorilla will be close by. Oh, look at here's a nice knuckle print. It looks like they walked uphill, and let's follow them slowly till we find them. One of the new generation of scientists building on the work of George Schaller is Felix Najijimana, the deputy director of the Diane Fossey Karasoki Research Center, and the first native Rwandan to hold the post. The work of Felix and other researchers is possible because a very smart man figured out the key to observing gorillas was to do a very simple thing. Come on up, Felix. Climb a tree. I nearly always went just alone, no track or no guide. Wow. I know animals don't like to be surprised, so I didn't sneak around the gorillas. I wanted them to see me. The only way they could see you well is to climb into a tree and sit on a branch like we're doing right now. What was the reaction when, for example, they would see you up in a tree, they're feeding, would they run away? You know, the big male is the most alert. Yeah. He often beat his chest, everybody look at me. And then it depends on the male. If he's a nervous male, he will move away. Yeah. Even now, I think the same uh, uh, principle that we follow. Even if they are habituated, once you get to the group, you, have, you need to show yourself, they need to see you. If the new person, they show some uh, interest because they're of, of, obviously curious, mm. especially infant. Yeah, it's, it's the same principle. Schaller's discovery that gorillas could be habituated to humans was crucial to the success of his 1959 doctoral research. George and his wife Kay spent a year living among and studying the mountain gorillas. The first time I saw a gorilla in the field, it really frightened me. And I had to learn not to be frightened of them. George had shoved me up a tree, and these two big males were coming closer and closer as they were feeding, and I was getting a bit nervous. Then I looked over, and on one branch, lying prone, was a young male. And he had his chin in his hands, was just watching me. And it immediately reassured me. I know that if you're gentle, placid, near the animals, they get used to you. And the gorillas, you feel like, hey, you're with an extended family. His understanding of gorillas as peace-loving vegetarians turned out to be one of George's greatest discoveries. The most lasting, useful thing I did was show that the gorillas are charming, friendly animals that can be easily studied. 